All right, so what you are looking at right there are chives, because lots of times we start with chives, and they are, in fact, the first thing that is showing up, along with these uh, Asian chives, I think they're called, which uh, kind of taste like garlic, but they're chivey. Um, uh, they are the first things that show up in what is the March Marvin Gardens video. And uh, what a difference a little more than a month makes. Um, especially when you pick and choose the day to shoot because of uh, what's going on. And today what's going on is spring because it's uh, 70 degrees out here. Things are getting green. Uh, it is absolutely delightful and I kind of purposely waited um, until now to shoot the video because uh, March is just such a long, long, cold, wet wait uh, for the for the weather to break. All you're thinking about is the weather warming up and being able to get outside again. And uh, uh, so it makes for a very, very long month. But uh, here we are, we're outside. We actually did some um, uh, some weeding and uh, uh, we've got some other things going on uh, not much in this bed um, but uh, Frankie is uh, interested in all the uh, smells that are happening and uh, he was out here before and didn't want to go inside he was having so much fun now this bed <coughs> this bed number one looks almost exactly the same as it did uh, last month but as you can see, the uh, little bit of kale that I left in the ground, in fact, has survived. And uh, although it, it, there's no big, huge, harvestable leaves on it, um, it does look like it's going to um, maybe do okay. And, uh, of course, we'll be adding to that because uh, we've already got uh, kale up. Uh, and I'll show you that in a little while. In the uh, in the greenhouse, actually, um, this is the pep memorial area that uh, is uh, looking like it's still winter out here. But um, hopefully, those uh, flowers are going to come back up. I think they're perennials for the most part, and um, uh, that'll start looking nicer. Um, you might be able to tell that the grass is starting to get green um, the compost heap and uh, manure still looks like compost and manure um, but that is about to be spread onto the beds as a, a layer of uh, feed and uh, we're going to be planting right in that uh, in some cases now I uh, I um, uh, raked the hay off of these carrot beds um, the underneath the hay over here is uh, is what's left of um, broccoli that did not survive the winter um, and it never got big enough to harvest either but uh, you'll notice you might notice if you look right there that uh, some <clears throat> strange rabbit must have come through here uh, and munched on carrots uh, but, uh, but there are some carrots that um, did survive without being whoop, frozen. I just broke that one, but it would have pulled up as a nice, uh, nice carrot. And you can see it's, uh, it's not deformed. It's uh, just been holding here in the winter soil. And, um, uh, and there's, there's a good one. Um, so here we are in March actually harvesting uh, carrots um, from last season's garden so that's kind of fun oh and by the way the uh, the uh, well there's there's one of the the rabbits now Let's see if I can get a shot of it. yes you're the rabbit aren't you Jolie both dogs uh, Jolie and Frankie have discovered that they really like carrots and they're the ones that have been um, ravaging these uh, these carrots. But you know, 
that, that's fine because we have plenty of carrots from last year in the uh, in the fridge and uh, it's always nice when the pups can enjoy the vegetables in the vegetable garden as well so uh, so I'm not too upset about it although I was chasing them out of there for a while but then I just said yeah you know let them have carrots let them eat carrots um, not much else to show you uh, on these external beds um, everything is of course has been bedded down for the for the winter so to speak and um, uh, we are getting ready to uh, like I say add the add compost and um, uh, uh, I'm probably reconfigure some of these beds a little bit um, so that uh, um, they they're, might be laid out a little bit better rather than having these these mounds for the squash I'm actually going to um, uh, uh, put up a uh, grow house that I think I mentioned before which has yet to be constructed and um, grow the squashes uh, in that um, hopefully hopefully avoiding insect damage and um, uh, and, and maybe uh, by using some drip watering uh, avoid mold and mildew and all that kind of stuff the um, sitting area here looks much more inhabitable than it did last time and in fact we have inhabited it a, a couple times with uh, in the evenings with the fire pit uh, going and actually even did some barbecuing a little earlier in the month um, and uh, as you can as you can see there's evidence of a recent fire in there um, and we're starting to get uh, some uh, action from the the perennials that uh, Vanina has uh, planted in all these pots starting to uh, come in green so that's good um, We've also uh, added a new character to the uh, to the garden here, courtesy of Vanina. This uh, colorful tin rooster, uh, which Frankie was thinking about barking at the other day, but he finally decided, well, no, I don't think that's alive. Um, so it will peacefully coexist with the other inhabitants here. Uh, you can see some piles of uh, branches here, all of which have come down um, over the winter so we still have yet to do spring cleanup and that good stuff uh, the, um, the uh, what I call the mini greenhouse uh, looks a little worse for the wear but it's it's just uh, discombobulated from having snow on it and everything and uh, it's it's really not bad at all but of course we were going to be relying less and less on on that um, these days uh, hey Frankie, should we go look in the greenhouse, boy? The greenhouse, I have stuff happening in here, and uh, it's fun. Let me just close this so that doesn't slam open. Um, but uh, look what we got here. We got plants growing in the greenhouse just the way they're supposed to. Uh, these are scallions or bunching onions. Um, in front here we've got um, rosemary and behind that are the um, artichokes and uh, they get big in a hurry um, and they're looking pretty good these next few trays are, I think are pretty much all brassicas there's cauliflower in the front here uh, this is oh, hold on another kind of cauliflower and uh, this looks like uh, this is Brussels sprouts Behind that is uh, broccoli, and here we got um, kale and cabbage. Um, and um, we are planning to grow more brassicas this year because they are um, um, not starchy vegetables. And uh, in fact, cauliflower we use as a, a mashed potato substitute, which is delicious when it's prepared, especially the way Vanina does it. And we just brought these two trays out here, um, lettuce up here, um, uh, Mars celeriac is what this is, these, 
these um, nine back here. And then uh, this whole tray is um, pak choy, or Chinese uh, cabbage. And everybody looks uh, pretty good. Uh, and these little space heaters are what I've been using to, um, you know, keep the temperature from uh, getting below freezing o overnight uh, down here in the greenhouse. And they work they work very well. You're, you can see that they're oscillating now, but they're not blowing any hot air because it's plenty warm enough in here. In fact, it's, it's warm enough that the uh, automatic vents have opened up uh, to allow the, um, the air to come through. Uh, and I don't know if you can read that, but it says 76.3 degrees in here, which is lovely. And you might be able to see that uh, the grass has been greening and growing for, for quite some time. Um, it actually never really got brown over the winter because um, it got enough warmth from the sun um, on sunny days. So anyway, we are using the greenhouse the way it's supposed to be used and I'm quite happy with that. Uh, we still started these inside under the lights, uh, mostly because some of them were started in late um, uh, February and um, uh, early March. So uh, we want to be traipsing out here in the freezing cold uh, to do the starting. And uh, but once they came up, uh, and we got to, we started to show signs of. Um, the temperature's not dipping down into the 20s and teens anymore overnight. Uh, I started bringing the, the trays out here. And uh, so that's kind of fun. I uh, got the uh, garden umbrella open and um, just looking very much like spring has sprung. Now we're probably, we're actually going to, I think, get some, some rain tomorrow and cool the temperatures towards the beginning of the week. But I, I do think that we have um, uh, turned the corner um, finally on uh, on winter, which, uh, like I say, March just for me, it, it's kind of my least favorite month. It's just because there's so much anticipation for you know warmer temperatures and getting outside, like I said before, and um, uh, <laughs> there's another one of these rabbits. You guys do, oops, I didn't get that aimed very well, but that's Franklin enjoying a carrot, and they do enjoy them. Um, uh, might as well take a look at this other rabbit here. What you got there? What are you eating? I don't see much of a carrot left. So, uh, anyway, uh, oh yeah, I'm kind of as usual, walking around in circles and rambling a little bit, but uh, uh, the solar panels have been uh, cranking pretty well. Uh, it's a little past peak time, but uh, let's see if we can see anything here. Yeah, they're putting out um, uh, 5,600 watts right now, so uh, that's kind of nice. Um, plus, there's the array that's on the roof as well. Uh, that's also cranking pretty well. Um, oh, let's see. Like I said, the, we've got some stuff uh, just started in uh, in uh, trays under the lights inside. I'll show you that. Um, peppers. Uh, we've got um, Asian basil, uh, uh, cilantro, um, eggplants. And uh, something else that I can't remember right now. And um, the uh, froggies have come back. In fact, uh, well, I don't see any right now, but uh, uh, I've seen a few frogs. Oh, there's one right there. I don't know. Oh, let's see if we can get in there. When you see him, he's brown and he's kind of you know, camouflaged in there, but uh, he's there and he's not too spooked by this camera. I've seen at least one huge bullfrog already, uh, and a few uh, smaller frogs, so they are, they are coming out, and it uh, looks 
pretty brown and uh, colorless here, but if you'll notice that uh, that plant there is starting to send up green shoots and uh, not sure what it is. You can see that the daffodils are starting to push up and and then uh, a lot of this uh, fancy moss uh, ground cover that uh, Vanina's planted all over the place are coming up. And unfortunately, uh, so is the algae. So we have uh, quite a bit of uh, pond cleanup to do. Um, but uh, golly, got the swing uncovered, got the umbrella up around the picnic table, got the cushions out. Uh, so it just feels today delightful and it feels like finally we are in springtime mode so uh, uh, probably uh, I don't generally put stuff in the ground until the middle of April um, but uh, you know if, uh, if it looks like if I get the beds prepared and uh, and uh, it looks like we're not going to have a cold snap um, uh, I'll probably get some stuff in the ground the um, the onion plants, the little onion plants, which is the way I grow all my onions, uh, um, except for the scallions. Uh, they have arrived. They're holding in the refrigerator. So um, again, once I get the once it gets the, the beds uh, laid out, the, the compost put down on them and everything, uh, then we'll be planting those. And I think we're going to do what we did last year, which is an entire large bed, all onions, because. Uh, uh, we, we go through a lot of them, and uh, we still have, um, you know, a handful of them, a handful of them in the refrigerator, and we're still using them, and they're still good. So they, they keep well in the refrigerator all year all year long. So um, so that worked out really well last time, and we're going to do it again. And uh, I think that's going to do it for uh, Marvin Gardens, March 2019. And a beautiful March day it is. Uh, and uh, so uh, looking back at the uh, entrance to the garden and off to the uh, greenhouse there. Which, by the way, you can't see them now, but there's uh, some little colored Christmas lights in there. Uh, which is the reason why I ran some power out there. Um, the primary reason. And... Uh, those are going to stay up all year long just because they look nice. And um, now that we've got power out there, of course, we've, we're able to hook up those heaters uh, so we can use the greenhouse and keep it hospitable to plants, even overnight when it's freezing. So <clears throat> that's going to do it. Marvin Gardens and Frankie Gardens, right, boy? March 2019 and uh, we're gonna see you all next month in April that's when things really start going because uh, we actually start mowing again usually and everything's gonna get green and things are gonna start busting out all over the place including daffodils and all that good stuff so um, we'll see you next time in April this is Marvin Gardens March 2019 and uh, y'all have a great spring. We'll talk to you later. Bye.